Hey guys, it's Ashlyn. Duh. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup collection. I cannot explain to you how bad you guys wanted this video. I've never gotten that many comments on one video ever, so here it is. As much as I hate disclaimers and as much as you guys hate disclaimers, I'm going to have to do it because there's those people out there that are going to take this the wrong way. I'm not trying to brag in any way. You guys wanted this really bad and if you don't like how my makeup is organized, yes, I got a comment about that. Then just click off the video. There's no need to leave a hate comment about something this stupid, so... Also, I have more makeup than an average person that is 14. And if you watched my last makeup collection, I do have quite a bit more things than last time and it's all like organized differently now. So yeah, this is already getting long. So without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, here we go. Right here, I have my eye brushes. Most of the ones you see me use in my videos are from the Cuivange set and I'll try to make sure to link them below. So it came with a lot of eye brushes. Then I have some like this Real Techniques setting brush and then some e.l.f. brushes, but that's mainly the majority of all my brushes. Right here are all of my larger face brushes. I had to combine them into one so I had room for my beauty blenders. So most of them are either e.l.f. or Cuivange, which is like these type of brushes. Then I have a couple of Real Techniques brushes and also this large face brush from Target. This is where I keep all of my beauty blenders. So I have this mermaid brush and then a Real Techniques one, which I'm pretty sure has mold on it. So I'm definitely going to have to throw this away soon. This is the actual beauty blender. And then I have mo mainly off-brand ones in here. You can kind of tell what's in there. Then a lot of you may be wondering, but this little elf, elephant, not elf, is from Walmart. It's just like a scentsy thing. So you just put like the wax in there. And I forgot to mention, but I do keep my makeup in the Alex drawers. It was probably pretty self-explanatory, but I thought I mentioned that. So the first drawer, I literally have nothing in because this is where... I put the makeup that I'm going to use like every day in, so I'll just take out what I want and then put it in this drawer. It's been what I've been trying out lately, and it's been working pretty well. In my next drawer, I keep primers, eyebrow stuff, eyelid primers, and color correctors. So, um, in this, I keep primers. So, I have the Wet n Wild face primer, the Smashbox face primer, a Revlon face primer, the Benefit Professional, it's just a mini size. The mini size of the Bare Minerals Prime Time. This one from e.l.f. and I got many comments about this primer because I said it was terrible and yes, I still think it's terrible, but that's not because of the brand. It's literally just because it did not work with my skin. And then I also have the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Coconut Water Primer Stick and this like sample of the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer, which I definitely need to be, get, be getting rid of. Then right here, I have eyebrow stuff. I have the e.l.f. eyebrow kit, which is not even my shade, but I still have it. This NYX micro brow that I actually broke <laughs> the spoolie end on it is torn off or broken off. The Anastasia Brow Wiz, along with the e.l.f. eyebrow, I don't know, like lock on liner thing, but it's also not my shade. And the Maybelline Great Lash and the Essence Lash and Brow Mascara, which I'm obsessed with. And also the e.l.f. Lash and Brow Gel whatever, clear mascara thing. In my next drawer, which is the third drawer, I have foundations, concealers, powders, like loose powders, and pressed powders. So here I have five foundations. I have two of the Wet n Wild foundations, drastically different color. This one, more of the summer, which is definitely not my shade now. And then this one now. Also two of the Maybelline Fit Me ones. They're two different formulas. One is the Mad Poreless and the Dewy and Smooth. Also, the air conditioning just came on, so if you hear that, I'm sorry about that. They're both in the shade 120, which is also definitely not my shade. Then this is the Rimmel Foundation. Under all of those foundations, I have three sample size of the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. As far as concealers go, I have, I have six concealers. I have two of the Tarte Shape Tapes and definitely Definitely two different colors. Again, I have the shades light neutral and fair neutral, obviously for summer and then winter. Then I have the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm in the shade Very Fair. And then the Maybelline Better Skin concealer. The Maybelline Fit Me concealer, which obviously I'm pretty much out of. Wet n Wild concealer stick and it's in the shade Nude for Thought. 
Right here are loose powders, so I have this Bare Minerals powder, and it's just like a powder foundation, and the Cody Airspun powder, and the mini size of the Laura Mercier powder, and then for pressed powders, I have the Wet n Wild powder foundation, which you guys know my thoughts about this, and two of the Rimmel Stay Matte powders. In the next drawer down, I have bronzers, highlighters, and blushes, and here is the first bronzer I have, which is the Hula Light, and then the NYC Smith Skin Bronzer, which is really good and then the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and then the NARS um, bronzer in the shade Casino it looks like that and then the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer and this elf bronzer and blush duo looks like that it's in St. Lu St. Lucia St. Lucia um and this one wild mega go contouring palette in Dolce Dolce de Leche and the wet and wild makeup stick or contour stick which again you know my thoughts about <laughs> for blushes again I have an overwhelming amount but I have the wet and wild color icon blush in the shade mellow wine and a makeup revolution blush in nude along with my MAC blush in the shade Dolly Mix and the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso, which is really pretty. Also, the Essence Satin Blush in the shade Satin Coral. I have two of the Tarte Mini Size Amazonian Clay Blushes in the shade Parte and another one in the shade Blissful. And I have four of the Too Faced Love Flush Blushes. I have Love Hangover, Crazy in Love, Baby Love, and Dream Lover. And this is like a spray paint blush. It's from the Sephora brand. And it's like, I don't know. It's in the shade Orange Glad. <laughs> I don't have like a ton of single highlighters, but I have the Makeup Revolution Triple Baked Highlighter in Goddess of Faith. If you want a really cheap blinding highlighter, that's really good. And also the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals, which is too dark for me. And the Pixie and Aspen Over collaboration in the shade London Luster, I guess that's a shade. Also, ColourPop Flexitarian, which, <laughs> let me just, let me just, just one second. Yeah, mine's broken if you couldn't tell, but it's still very good. And for my liquid and cream highlighters, I have the mini size of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal. And the Benefit What's Up highlighter. Again, it's mini size. And the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. And this is in the shade Sunbeam. Back here I have another one of the Sephora spray paint things. And it's the highlighter in the shade Universal. In the next drawer, I have eyeliners, mascaras, and single shadows. So eyeliners, I have quite of a lot. I have four of the NYX Vivid Brights eyeliners. I have two felt tip liners. I have the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen and the Essence eyeliner pen. I have three just regular black eyeliners. Um, it's the Wet n Wild one, which is super good. And the Smashbox Always On Gel Liner in Fishnet, which is just black. And the Marc Jacobs Mini Size. Then I have five of the e.l.f. like shimmery eyeliners. Also this Essence Nude Eyeliner, and it's in the shade Silky Nude. I have the Essence Gel Liner in Midnight in Paris, and the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. Another thing is the uh, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk, which is just the white, and the NYX Pencil Sharpener, or not Pencil Sharpener, Eyeliner Sharpener. Sh eyeliner sharpener. I also have lash glue, just two duo ones, and and the like tweezer things for eyelashes, and I have a pair of eyelashes down here also, and I also have scissors, and two like Amelia Night eyeliner, or lip liners. For mascaras, I have an eyelash curler, and th three of the Essence mascaras in all of them I love, and the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara, the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, the CoverGirl, I don't know, the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara, also this mini size of the Lanco Mascara, the Smashbox Mascara Primer, this NYX Skinny Mascara, which when they say skinny, they are not kidding. And also a mini size of the Kevin D mascara, which I'm really need to get rid of. Right here are single shadows, and also I have like glitters in there. I have four of the ColourPop sh Super Shock shadows. This one is in the shade Cornelius, which is like super good. It's like a good everyday transition shade. Then also this darker brown color and it's in the shade bandit this is another one and it's in the shade fade in which is kind of a darker brown than the other one and also this one which has like 
different colored reflex, kind of like blue and teal reflex, which is broken, but it's in the shade Sailor. I have this wet and wild like white shadow. It's in the it's in the shade Sugar, and it's really I need to kind of throw it away. But I have two CoverGirl eyeshadows. Not sure what this shade is, but I used it a lot in fifth grade. And then this one in the shade Sombra Las Ado Real Zadora. Not really sure. And this is the City Colors Cosmetics Shimmer Eyeshadow. This is a really good quality eyeshadow, and it's in the shade Cheers to Life. This is a Michania Michania eyeshadow. It's like a loose sh shadow, and it's I'm not sure what shade it is, but it's super pretty. Another one I have is the Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade Sin. It's really pretty, but it's like super close to being gone. And here's the Elf. Uh, molten liquid eyeshadow in the shade rose gold then I also have these two glitters and I literally got them from Hobby Lobby but they are cosmetic grade please don't come for me then I have six of the NYX glitters and I'm not gonna go through every shade but this is like the colors that I have if you have any questions just comment them below the next drawer is just a lot of lips it's categorized by liquid lipsticks lipsticks and lip glosses first i'm going to show you the lip glosses so i have the nyx butter gloss in the shade meringue also the alme lip gloss it's in the shade apricot and i have three two face lip injections and those are the shades also a forever 21 lip gloss a glam glow lip plumper thing and a color pop ultra glossy lip in the shade Aquarius which is really pretty and a wet n wild just lip gloss these two things from the back they are a Sephora kind of like wannabe EOS things EOS whatever you want to call it and a elf lip balm tint and in the shade grapefruit right here is just lipsticks I have five MAC lipsticks and three Too Faced uh, lipsticks and two Kat Von D Study Kiss lipsticks and three Marc Jacobs lipsticks also, two Sephora lipsticks, and I'm really not sure what these shades are, but that's what they look like. I have two e.l.f. Lip jumbo lip gloss sticks, and I have the shades In the Nude and Pink Umbrellas. Also, a ColourPop lippy sticks. It's in the shade Parker. An Urban Decay Metalized lipstick, and it's in the shade Bang Bang, which it's a bright, glittery pink. And an e.l.f. Tinted Lip Balm thing in the shade Bear Kiss. Oh, and also a Tarte lipstick in the shade Rum Punch, which is really pretty here are liquid lipsticks and i know you're thinking ashlyn why the crap do you have that much liquid lipsticks but the thing is is most of them are the liquid suede and once i get done telling you all of the liquid lipsticks that i have it'll be left with just the liquid spray it's suede so you'll understand i have six wet and wild liquid cat suits you can kind of pause to see the shades if you would like then i have six of the Too faced melted and if you're wondering i like i Wait, no, I have seven. I can't count. If you're wondering, I got all of these at TJ Maxx and they were like $7 each. But when I forgot to mention, this is a lip gloss. So it's supposed to be in this drawer, but it's a Buxom lip gloss in the shade Tanya. And again, y'all know my feelings about that. Back to liquid lipsticks. I have the Bare Minerals liquid lipstick thing in the shade XYZ. Also a Tardiest lip paint in the shade TBT. And a Makeup Forever liquid lipstick in the shade 109. Just realized, I actually missed a melted liquid lipstick thing, so I now have eight. I have two NYX soft matte lip creams, one in Dubai and one in, don't know how to pronounce this, but it, that's what it looks like. I also have a Kat Von D thing, liquid lipstick, everlasting liquid lipstick, and it's in the shade, yeah, again, don't know how to pronounce it. And lastly, besides all the other things, I have a Tardiest lip paint and it's in the shade Birthday Suit. And this is another thing that I got for free for my birthday from Sephora. All of these that you see down here are NYX Liquid Suede and I got it in a vault and I got it for my birthday. So My next drawer consists of just face palettes. So I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light, the Tarte Blush Book, which is gorgeous. Looks like that. I have two of the Anastasia Glow Kits. So I have the Sun Depth one which is really good, along with the Aurora Glow Kit and the Cover- oh, okay. And the Cover FX Face Palette, which I haven't used since my last makeup collection, so yeah. And lastly, my palette drawer, which may be the part you've all been waiting for. So back here, I just have a BH Cosmetics palette and yeah, you know my thoughts about that. Also the Jaclyn Hill palette, which like honestly is one of the only palettes that you will ever need. Like, if you get this, you will probably be set. Back here, I have the NYX Ultimate Brights palette and the Essence All About Toffee palette. 
I also have the Naked Basics palette and the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. Moving on to these, I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette, which is really pretty, and the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, which is also really pretty. All, literally all palettes are pretty, so I'm going to stop saying that. The Modern Renaissance palette, along with the Naked 2 palette, which I really need to use up because it's probably going to be old soon. That one did break. Then I have four ColourPop palettes, which I ordered all in one order. So I have the ColourPop All I See is Magic palette. It's gorgeous. The Color ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette, which, okay, which I did get for free because I ordered so much, and it looks like that. It's an all shimmer palette. Then also the My Little Pony palette, which I did do a look on not too long ago, and the You Had Me at Hello palette, which reminds me a lot of the She palette, but it's really pretty, and it does have a mirror. And my last shore doesn't have packaging in it anymore. It just has, like, just a random assortment of things, so I have, like, some MAC things it's if you like if you turn in like six empties of mac products you get a free lipstick and so that's why i have those <laughs> and then some just lip balms and s some sprays so the mario badescu the tart rainforest of the sea and an icing one and then just some brushes and whatever else is back there so yeah that was the end of this makeup collection if you guys enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up I did try to go a little more in depth this more in depth this time because if you watch my last video I didn't really show my products very well. Um so if you guys are new make sure to subscribe and like this video and all that jazz. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.